Hey everyone, it's me. It's Friday and I am here to show you all my good stuff. I didn't think I had that much to show you as usual, but I do. I have some bargains though and um, some just random stuff. I've got some other stuff like some things, some hits and misses. So I'm looking at one right now, so let me go ahead and tell you about it. This is the Grande Lash that I was telling you about, was it just last week? Either last week or week before. And you know, I am someone, I really hate to say negative things because I always feel like, well, it might work for someone else. But I am gonna say that this made my eyes red. If you, in my video that I just did, my Walmart tutorial, the um, something cheesy, what was it, uh, bronze bombshell, in that tutorial, when you see me with my makeup off, you can even see like the darkness. And what I think it does is it probably pulls like more blood flow to around your lashes, but it has done that and it almost kind of burns and itches when I put it on and new lash just does not do that. But I have noticed, I think my lashes, they looked more dense, like at the root. So I'm gonna kind of give it a combo review. I do think that this would work. I do think that it's doing what it's supposed to do. I just think that my eyelids are just sensitive to stuff like this because everybody that I have talked to really loves this and they say it really works, but it didn't work for me. So I felt like I needed to tell you that. Okay. Um, Okay, I feel like there was one more thing that I did. Oh yeah, this right here. This is the LA Girl, the nudist palette. And in theory, I thought, you know, it looks so good. And like this color and this color, I would say it's pretty good, but it's, I mean, I would just say you could pass on it. So I just thought I would tell you that. It's just every time I use it, I just don't really love my makeup. And I really like most LA Girl things, but I thought I would just show you that and tell you just in case you were to see it, you might could pick up. Their lip liners are good. Their um, eyeliners are supposed to be good. I did pick up another one of these. After doing that tutorial, I realized how much I missed this and how good it is for like under your eyes, but I wanted something just a, with a little bit more pop, especially if you're doing this first and then kind of going over it with your foundation like I did in that tutorial. So I went and got the Ivory and this is a lighter tone with like a, you know, it's a little bit yellowy and that's what I like. So, and the sun is not really out, but I do see right much glare. So, but that is, um, that is a good, good concealer. I mean, I was like patting it in with my finger and you could just tell it's very emollient, but yet it dries down. And I just think if you haven't tried this, I know you have, but if you haven't, try it because it's really good. Then this is the foundation that I used the other day. It is the Matte and Poreless in number 228 Soft Tan. Vanessa, the bombshell suite, is the one that told me about this. And the color that she likes is the, I believe it's 220 Natural Beige. And if you are my skin tone, I think that you may prefer that over this. This is a very bronzy tan look. So if I were not, you know, kind of tan from going to the beach, I probably could not use this. So I wanted to just mention um, the 220, the natural beige might be a better tone. Because even today I had to mix a little bit of my YSL all hours in this just to cut down that, um, I hate to say oranginess because it's not really, but just the intensity a little bit, but a really good foundation. I really like that. This is something that I ordered from Ulta and I got it this week and I have used it several times, probably about three times. It is the Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo Matte and Shimmer and the color I chose is Mojave Mauve and it's very pretty. It's, um, I like the, the packaging is very heavy and nice and it's very, very pretty. I've got it on today and it's, it's beautiful. But I still think all in all the Buxom blushes are the best. And I think, I thought, oh yeah, here it is. I wanted to just put this on one cheek and just see if we could see a difference. So I'm gonna take this brush, which is the MAC 137 and just tap it into Havana. And there's just something magic about these blushes. So, 
you see if you can see how this just gives you that like I think I just think this is a little bit more magic you know what I mean and I know they're so close but let me do this side there's just something awesome about these they just give you that I don't know that just it's kind of like a highlight effect but I have texture on the tops of my cheeks and so I don't like too much texture or too much highlight, but this is just perfect. And the every one of them, every single color is beautiful. Mykonos, Ibiza, Seychelles, Dolly is a good one. I don't. I think the only one I didn't get is maybe the bright reddish one, but um, I love these. So I think that you would like that even better than the Cover FX. It's not. I'm not saying this isn't pretty, but I just. You know, I'm getting so many blushes that I feel like I need to tell you if it's better than the ones that we've already gotten. Another MAC uh, Powder Kiss Lipstick. I love these. And this is a um, peachy color called My Tweety. Now, if you... The thing is, these are kind of fall and winter lipsticks to me because I like a glossy look in the summer. But I did pick that up. It's a little... Um, today I have on my lip combo with Christian Audette. They are restocked. I don't know how many they have left because they just ordered that last little bit. And um, so I don't know how many she's got, but she did have some the other day. So this is the Nude Sandals Lip Liner with um, Golden Tiger on top. And then I have a little bit of Milani Luminoso Lip Gloss just to make it glossy because just in the summer I just want a gloss. And, um, but these are really pretty if you do like that matte color. They're kind of like that worn in look. I think I just grabbed it while I was on the Ulta website. Okay, get that off. And um, any other makeup? I don't think I have any other makeup things to show you. Um, I, let's see, got a lot of stuff from Amazon this week. So this is the first thing I wanted to show you. You know, the um, if you've seen any of my Instagram pictures, which if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me there. And I've started posting a lot more. I've kind of challenged myself to post every day on Like to Know It. And so you can even look at that on your computer. All you got to do is go to the Like to Know It website or get the Like to Know It app. Go on there, and then on the top right, you will see um, a search for the people on there. I don't have my phone right here. And just look me up and follow me. And then every day you can see, I try to post whatever outfit, sunglasses, lip combo, just fun things like that. And so on there, I had posted my red chair that I bought upstairs to go upstairs. And I bought it so that I could have something to sit down on while I was putting on my shoes, the ones that I have to buckle and everything. And Chanel has taken over that chair and it has gotten so furry. It is like a Chanel fur chair. So I went up there the other day with my typical lint roller and it was ridiculous. I mean, I could not get any of it off. I was just changing the tape, changing the tape. And I was thinking, is this a cheap one? But it was the scotch. And so, Bridget wants to get off the bed. Hold on. I would let her say hello because she never comes on here. Say hello to everyone. Hello, I'm the sweet baby. I'm the sweetest baby. So anyway, I was asking the girl that does my um, wax appointments. She has, I think, three cats. And so we were talking about it and she mentioned this. And it's something that you guys have probably all seen on Instagram you know, get them getting the cat hair and dog hair off of the furniture. And so I ordered it and I just got it yesterday. So I had it out here to show you guys and I thought I'm going to go just make sure this really works before I even show this to them. And Bubba, who is down here somewhere, anyway, Bubba was sitting on my chair. So I had to just kind of do around him and look at the cat hair that came off of one little bit right before I did this video. So without a doubt, it works and it works a hundred times better than the lint brush thing. But I think the gig is you put it in this and then you, it's not easy to pull out. Okay, 
it's still on there a little bit but I think the thing is this thing is supposed to remove it yeah it does huh when I was little we had one like this it was red and um, you would just run it the other way like on a towel and take it off so you can't do it like that and then this is neat then you empty this off oh goodness I don't want it to go flying across the room yep and look it's down there so you'll be able to empty it out huh so that is neat and it does come with like a little travel size one too so I'm so excited to be able to do my chair upstairs now and now I'm going to show you my very favorite thing these shoes have made me just as happy as any $500 pair of shoes that I have ever gotten and it is these and if you're thinking they look just like my Roxy they're, they do in a little ways, but they are the Javianas. So they're just like the Javianas that I always wear, but they're the ones with a wedge heel. And I just got these, I think I got them, we ordered them and then I got them Wednesday. It was right before we went out to eat. And so I put them on and I love them. They are just, I think that they, are a little bit different than the other one, so I brought those down here, hold on. So here is the difference. The difference is this has a little bit more of a wide braided, and you can get just a plain leather strap too. Um, these are like a material right here between your toes, and these are a lot more like bouncy and soft right here. They're kind of smooth, and I believe they are Let's see, they're a little bit higher, just a little bit. How can I do this so you can see it? Um, you can probably see, but they're just a little bit higher. I would say just the amount from like there up. And, um, and they are like a little bit bouncier, but what I love about these, and I'll still wear them both, these are just really thin and pretty. That's what I like about the Javianas too and they're a little bit more snug on your foot. And I am probably a weirdo, but I like flip-flops to have texture like this. I would prefer this than the smooth. For some reason, like, this is an example. When I'm barefooted, I would rather walk on the rough um, driveway than the smooth cement in my garage. Does that make any sense? I just don't like that feeling. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because you can feel sand on it more or something, but anyway, I love these. I can't even remember how much they were. I'm sure they were not very expensive. I got my typical, um, actually I got a 38. Sometimes I size up in the regular Javianas, but these are perfect. I mean, my foot kind of just takes up the whole, I'll try them on for you but um, love them. So if you have been maybe on the fence about getting the other ones that I always wear, and but you thought they might be too clunky or just too high or something, these would be perfect. I'm just super excited about them. This is just a, you know, kind of plain, I would say plain, but it's got the little um, ruching on the side, just a plain maxi dress. And it does have like a slit up the side, but it's not, it doesn't stay open or anything. And then, um, I hope that you can see, I will, here, okay, now I think you can. Now you can see the flip-flops and how pretty they are. I just love like the thin strap and just a perfect amount of heel to go with like a dress like this. Okay, and then another thing I got is I had bought this dress before. I think it was like, I don't know, $15 or something on, Amazon and the first one I got I got a medium and it fits I like it I'll still keep it or I might give it to Brooke if she wants it but I ended up ordering the large because I wanted it to fit not so bodycon so it fits a lot like the one I'm wearing today does but it goes down just right above the knee and so I reordered this and I really like it it's kind of like a thick it reminds me of like um Taking ballet, those leotard type, you know, your ballet outfits, that's what it reminds me of. These are, these are right there with the Javianas for the star of the video. This is a three pack of, I ordered of these little, like, I think they even called them dresses. And you could wear them as a dress if you wanted to, but what I bought these for is to go under 
all of my other dresses that might be a little thin or a little low cut or anything like that as like a slip, but yet they're bodycon. So they just fit perfectly. I have already worn one of them that's actually in the wash now twice. I wore it underneath um, just a little plain dress from Zara. Matter of fact, I think I had it on in my last video underneath that pink dress. And then yesterday I wore it as a dress just with a black t-shirt over it and knotted up at the waist. And I love these. I love that it has like this. So it's still, I don't know, that just adds a little bit of extra um, for it to look like that versus a t-shirt and it's just perfect i think that you all could use these i did order these in a large because i didn't want them too tight and i usually know that those things on amazon sometimes i have to size up and it's perfect so if you are a size eight i would say get the large and um i'm just you will see me wearing these a lot under so many things like even today i could have worn this if i wanted just like an extra rumple guard but with these i don't have to worry about it as much but love these so much it's like i did a lot of reordering this week i love these shorts and so many of you i know ann makeup annie makeup i can't remember her um channel now but i'll put it down below she bought these and loves them and it's the shorts that i had on last week and you know i said that i sized up because i wanted them to be baggy well they were i mean they were like low 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 and really baggy by the end of the day so i went ahead they were on sale and i ordered the eight the other ones were tens and these are the eights and um, so I love them, so I ordered them again. When I ordered those, I saw this, and I thought it would be something perfect for the summer, and when we're staying at the beach, it, you could use it as a cover-up. I'm just gonna wear it, wear it, but it's like a little um, bandeau-type jumpsuit, and I love the color. So I thought this would look so good with like some wedges, or even, you know, the flip-flops that I have on now. And, um, it was on sale too. I think everything was on sale. So it's regularly $49.95. Hopefully it's still on sale. This, well, I think I had, you know, looked up. Um, I think when I ordered, actually reordered that black short sleeve dress, these came up and this was on the side. And of course they were saying it was a dress, but I got it for a nightgown and I love it. I love this color blue. This is what I like to sleep in. Something very simple. You know, just like the satin up here, you know, not a lot of seams or straps or lace or anything like that. And a lot of times when I find these, they're really, really short and I don't want them that short. I want them to be like, you know, just right above the knee so that I can walk around and, you know, not feel like I can't be around the kids or something. So I got this and it was very inexpensive and I got the medium and it fits fine. And it's like got the adjustable straps and everything. Hey, and then one more update. I wanted to, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen how much I love this. I have been wearing it to the beach. It's like, I don't even want to put any of the other ones on. Now the long, beautiful like Zara and one I got at Nordstrom, that's not something I would wear probably at the beach anyway, like on the beach. But this thing is amazing. I, I wore it in CBS. I've worn it to water my flowers. It is just, so even if you don't use it as a beach cover up, you would love this just around the house. I love it. It's been worth every penny. And then I wanted to show you this that I got yesterday, a package from Paracone, and they really just stepped it up here. They sent me this, which is like a night shirt a silky night shirt, which I'm so thankful for, but it's their new product. We are excited to introduce Paracone MD's newest addition to the Cold Plasma Plus family. Cold Plasma Plus Fragile Skin Therapy, now, now available on ParaconeMD.com, Ulta, Sephora, and QVC. The multitasking body treatment addresses the most visible signs for stronger, more resilient skin on the arms, shins, and other fragile areas that are typically overlooked. Okay, I won't read all of this to you, but it, the key ingredients are the growth 
factor peptides that visibly firm skin. It has microhyronic acid to combat crepiness and retinol accelerated skin renewal. And so I just got this yesterday, so I was all excited. I came out here after my shower and I was gonna put this on and I did put it on, but I, I, I even read the directions and I just didn't follow them. It says to, yeah, it says massage generously onto arms, shins, or anywhere you have thin, fragile skin. Use morning and evening before your moisturizer and SPF. Well, I had already put on my moisturizer, but I thought, oh, I'm gonna do it anyway. And it does, it did not play well. It made the moisturizer on my arms um, pill up. And so I had to like wash everything off. So I am going to use this next time, right when I get out of the shower and we'll see how it goes. But I thought it was an interesting product and it might be something that a lot of us are looking for. I know, you know, your chest, tops your legs, you know, with me growing up here at the beach, you know, I, I'm always looking for something to improve my skin. And um, so I just thought I would tell you about that and thank them for sending that to me. And I think that's it for today. I, let's see, my hair, I went and had a blowout yesterday with Morgan. So she just did a blowout and then used a curling iron and just like curled my ends. Um, I have on Funny Bunny, just one coat of Funny Bunny for nail polish. I need to cut my nails, they've gotten longer. I have people ask me how I get my nails to grow so long and it's just, I never have them unpainted. I take one color off and usually, you know, within the hour, put another color back on. Or sometimes I take it off, get in the shower, and then, you know, after I get my hair done and everything, then paint them again. So I think that's the key. Um, my necklaces, I have on my typical um, U necklace that I never take off, and these two are Sheila Fajal. And I have had these for a long time on my website, so I'm gonna mark these way down and put the link down below. They're just a real pretty little necklace with like little beads and everything. And then this is that short Jolie chain. And then um, this is a Celine Kent ring. And then that is one that my parents gave me. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And I, I'm trying to think of what video I have next. I know I have a Walmart fashion video coming up next week. And I want to do some favorites and I've got several things that I want to do. So I'll see you real soon. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe down below. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.